Hey, it's Quinn the Eskimo here. Just fooling around down in the cellar. It's snowing pretty good out there right now. It's April 2nd, day after Easter. I took a, a video of the snow out there. It's snowing pretty heavy out there. It's got four or five inches on the ground right now in April. Uh, yeah, this is one of my hats. Is it Mount Man or whatever? But uh, look pretty, don't I? But this video is kind of about hats and not wasting things. This little shirt I have on, or vest, was a shirt. The sleeves were screwed up on it, cut. So I cut the sleeves off, and I made hats. And I got this still as a vest because it's hard to see, but it has trees and a moose on it. It's uh, one of my favorite hats. So let me just uh, show you something here. It's from the sleeve. From the sleeve right here. You just cut around here as long as you want it. You could sew it and make it look nice, do whatever you want, but it's good to just throw in one of your bags for a quick summer hat or as a liner to a fur hat. Got the little ties on there. Um, and you could use it for uh, shirt cloth. The shirt, if you want to throw the rest of the shirt on. But basically, it goes right over. But it's good for sleeping too, you know. But uh, you throw it right in back. So now, Got a little vest, nice little hat, and you could sew it or do whatever you want with it, embellish it, but this is no work. So pretty good. I got two of these out of this and I did it with another shirt. Another thing I want to show you is I keep these in, uh, in the car on my pack. These are Swedish wool gaiters. Just dropped one. Swedish wool gaiters. Fantastic. Beautiful. Wear them all the time. Dual purpose. Look at this. You're in a pinch. You're a little cold. Almost right over your head. Alright. You go to sleep in these things. You can walk around in them. Got a nice Swedish army wool uh, things there. Doesn't look pretty, but if you're cold, this is very good quality wool. You got a hat, okay? Dual purpose. Swedish wool gaiters work great in the snow. You can dry them right out. They're beautiful. Put them over your boots. Put them on first. It makes it a lot easier. But uh, yeah, dual purpose doesn't look pretty, but who cares? Doesn't look pretty as me, but. Uh, yeah, you know, it's messing around down here. So, I can't find it right now. I think it's in my car. I, did, I, I didn't plan on doing this, but I plan on making the hats. But uh, this is, got this at a tag sale. Merino wool. Doesn't matter what size it is. Some of them you get some beautiful vest. Or you can make a vest out of them. Or I, I like them. I make hats. I did the same thing. I cut the sleeve off. And I tied the end off. And now I have... Merino wool, a merino wool hat. You can use it for your bushcrafting, you can use it for your mountain man. It's just great. You could do it with any wool sweater you want or anything you want, but with the wool, it's just fantastic. You can go to Goodwill anywhere, get a beautiful quality wool sweater, and uh, you can make hats out of the sleeves and a nice vest. Look for a vest too because. If you get a vest that actually fits you and it's made as a vest, fantastic for sleeping when you want to keep warm, keep your body core warm. Uh, I even use them in, in the house uh, when I'm sleeping. Sometimes it's really cold and we have a wood stove going and the house is fine, but sometimes I'll put that on. But this here, where this is going on now? I make pot or little, little holders out of the wool. You just... Uh, you know, you fold the end over, kind of like this. It's hard to see. Just little uh, puddles. I'll see if I can find some. I'll shut this off a second and uh, see if I can find one. But uh, I was at a garlic festival one time. This woman just took old sweaters and make, made little pot holders out of, out of sweaters. You can make a whole lot of them out of any type of sweater. And so when you have your little pan in your pot, you just 
just use it. It's it's fantastic. So I'll get back to you in a minute. I'm gonna show you an old pack I got too. Okay guys, I'm back. Another thing I want to show you. It's these uh little holders I made out of a that camera's moving. Put them right over your handle so you don't get burnt. And uh works pretty good. But a um, little problem with my camera here. But um, yeah, it's a little kit that I have here. I'm going to shut this off a second. I've got to fix this camera. Okay, I'm back. Out of sweaters, you can make holders for your pan. Let me just show you what I got in here, anyways. This is just an old Rolex bag carried in my pack. Kind of a primitive pack. It depends on what I'm doing. But uh, pull it off. Iron Man Forge. Squirrel cooker. Use your own stick. Okay? Any kind of meat you want. It's like a worm on there. Put it on your stick. You got this. Okay? Got some fat wood. This is my own. Little spatula. Now, I think these are blue point oysters. I got these oysters. But uh, spoons, oysters, oyster shells. You see that? You can just scoop your food up. And you got a little spoon from the shore or from your oysters. Okay? I got a couple of them in there. This one's a little thicker, a little deeper. Um, I clean them up a little. This is after I boil them up. But pretty cool. Then a little, uh, little sheet iron pan, it's very small, very nice, fits in your pack, but, and you got this, it's cool. But out of the, the purpose of this whole video is not to waste old shirts, clothes, you can make char cloth out of cotton, old burlap bags, coffee, whatever, rice, save the bags. Um, Pretty cool. Now, I've been doing this for years, this stuff here. Um, but I just figured, because I wanted to show you how it goes on a pan, because the purpose is to use clothes, but I just figured I'd show you part of one of my kits. This is, so here's a pack I use. I have a bag with a plate and everything like that. This is it's an old Boy Scout pack. I got see the lacing on there got this in I believe Bolton Landing a long time ago got a little, little pack right here I keep stuff and I got some bir birch bark hanging out put flat black acrylic latex paint on here it becomes smooth and nice it becomes waterproof I made a whole gum blanket out of it out of this nice material Looks nice and smooth. And, you know, you do it enough, it gets waterproof. But uh, here's the pack. And uh, just opens up. See a tan on the inside. Um, this hair is just an old uh, five bucks, picked it up at a dollar store. It's uh, polyester, very smooth. When it's really cold, it'll really warm you up. You just throw it in your sleeping bag or your other blanket that you have. I like wool blankets mostly, but sleeping bags if it's cold whatever little extra thing here another I'm not gonna show you everything in there but these are wool also but you can't put them over your head but uh, yeah this old pack is cool uh, let's see if it has the uh, Boy Scout stuff on it yeah property of I think I took the name off but uh, just a nice old pack and it's fine, it rides pretty nice and kind of my quasi primitive pack. But uh, that's what the video is about, man. Just uh, making hats out of your sleeves. Just cut around there. I kind of keep the, the hem or whatever webbing on there. But uh, a couple different things. Snowing out. 
let's take the camera and let's see if we can uh, get a shot of that. Of course, you know I make music, so I got some of my music stuff here for my videos, some of my stuff here. A keyboard too, not too good with that, but uh, yeah, a lot of my my friend Annie made this bag. Did all the beadwork, bless his soul. But uh, died at 54. All my stuff here. So, it's my cave. But uh, cool. But uh, let's one of my stoves. Let's just kind of. A little messed up here, but uh, you see the snow coming out. But there's snow coming down still. April. Some of my hats. There's a cedar chest full of wool blankets. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I got a lot of wool. A lot of wool in here and different things. This one's not wool, but the rest of them is, you know, a lot of wool stuff in there. Capotes and things. But, uh, yeah, man, you know. It's just a uh, nice snowy day. Got my sleeping bags over here. But uh, oh, got my chainsaws too. Yeah, a couple. See them down there? Oh, yeah. Cool. But um, I'm not going through all my packs, taking stuff out. Someday I'll go. But I just want to show you this old pack and some hats to make out of clothes. And then anything else you don't need, wood stove's going. While it's still going, make some char cloth, man. Char fungus, char cloth, whatever you want. So this is, uh, let's see, we'll get a little background here. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. This is uh, Quinny Eskimo. And uh, working on our stuff here. So I'm signing out. You take it easy, okay? Have a good day. Just forget I take advantage of a nice day. Down in the cellar, snowing out. Take it easy. Oh, and just as a note, decided I'm going to go to that New England bushcraft show. I saw it with uh, Native Survival, Mitch and his friend there. Um... April 28th. I'm going to I'm going to go up there. My grandson can't make it. I, I wish he could. My son's going to be away. But uh I'm going to take a walk up there see what's going on. It uh sounds like a uh pretty good event. So um give it a shot. Take it easy, man.